Good morning. Most of us have different ideas about what actually makes a face look attractive. I've done some research myself, and there's been a lot done by others. But the universal finding has always been that good cheekbones are an absolute essential for a nice-looking face. And if you look at film stars, you'll find they mostly have good cheekbones. An orthodontist way back in 1970 um, did some research on this and he found that film stars have better cheekbones than most people. And uh, this, I think, was established with subsequent research. Um, uh, but he also asked orthodontists what they thought were the most attractive-looking faces. And he found there was quite a, a distinction between the opinions of the orthodontists and most lay people. While lay people, by and large, like good cheekbones, the orthodontists were quite prepared to accept quite flat faces so long as they had straight teeth. Um, this research was repeated by Tedesco in 1985 and again in China in 2005 by So. Um, these three researchers all found that the public preferred a forward-going face whereas many orthodontists actually preferred the faces that were going further back. Now, I found this most interesting. What was causing this change in opinion? And, in fact, who was right? Is there a right when we're talking about beauty? Certainly, there is a common belief. And um, the... Work done during the tooth straightening process, which orthodontists do, tends to pull this bit of the face back. Whereas the uh, treatment done by others, certainly some of the more modern treatments, tend to try and take this section of the face forward so that the whole face looks better. But, um, I can think I can show you one or two examples of this from research that I did not so long ago. We can see a picture of a boy who had orthodontic treatment and it got very nice straight teeth, as you can see. But um, the orthodontist placed it 12th, I think, out of a series of 32 cases. But the lay public was also asked to give an opinion, and they thought it was one of the worst. So one has to ask oneself, why is it that orthodontists actually prefer a flatter-looking face? It doesn't sound sense. Um, I think, having done a lot of research on this subject, it's because most of their results doing the traditional treatment they use tends to cause the middle of the face to go back. It's what many people call retractive treatment. And um, this causes these flatter cheeks. And perhaps the orthodontists have grown to prefer the type of results that they normally see as the best results. That's the only explanation I can offer. But in effect, it means that many, many children are treated by orthodontics with the deliberate intention of taking this section back when actually it tends to be um, less attractive and the public, by and large, prefer forward-growing faces.